Okay, so hi folks, this is Chef LV, and today we're gonna learn how to make gnocchi. I actually was able to make it at my first cooking class this week, and you're gonna love it. It's like gnocchi because it starts with a G, a G but it's actually gnocchi, but it's, it actually sounds like it's an, there's an N at the beginning, but it's actually a G. So the first step of this is to wash your hands. So I better wash my hands, because it can get very messy. We need a 15 ounces of container of a uh, ricotta cheese, and then we put it in this big bowl. That goes in like that. And then you put in one large egg. And th doesn't this yolk just look like a sun in the sky? Okay, now we put in this uh, bowl of olive oil. It's one teaspoon of olive oil. And then you put in three-fourths teaspoon of salt. Then you do, do 10 cranks of pepper. Okay, and then you take the whisk and you stir. You just want to stir so it gets really mis mixed up good. And there's a lot of happiness going in here now. Okay, I think that's probably good. Because I think it's all mixed together. Now you pour in one half cup of flour. And you stir. And you guys might think that this looks sort of weird at first, but it actually turns out to be very good at the end. Now I know that you guys like pasta, and this is a kind of pasta, it's just a ball-shaped pasta, but I know that you guys are gonna like it. So we just keep stirring until it's all nice and thick. And then you do another half cup of flour. And then you stir. And then there's just even more happiness going on now. The happiness just doesn't ever end. And now you do another half cup of flour. This is going to be the third half cup. And then you pour it in. And then you stir. Now we take our last half cup of flour and put it on the counter. Now you smush it. I just love cooking in Grammy's kitchen. It's just like such a big kitchen to cook in. Okay, and now you use your hands, your bare hands, to put all of this dough onto the flour that was on the counter. You know, this dough reminds me of when I played with Play-Doh when I was three years old. And it was just such a happy day. That's okay. That doesn't stop us. Nothing can, if nothing can stop us, then nothing can stop Chef L.B. And now this will probably help if you get a little flour on your hands. So you want to get lots of flour in it so it won't be very sticky. Hey, this is fun. Do you think it would be fun? I bet you would. Just try to make this into a big bowl. I guess I should wash my hands. Remember, a clean kitchen is a happy kitchen. Now you cut through the six pieces, so you make one big line in between the two parts. Okay, and then you cut them into three different separate pieces. Now you push them all out of the way, and then you make, we make this one, and we roll it into a snake. Just like this. See, now it's getting, it's growing into a snake. And you don't want it, and you won't want it to be mostly very skinny. And we can move this onto the flower so it doesn't get stuck. And now you can cut it. Into pieces like this. So that's one, two, three, four, five, I think this is six, seven, and eight. And you want to put a little bit of flour down before you start your next knit. Then you spread it around. Looking good, folks. And be very careful with knives. They're very sharp. Oh, I cut my finger! Just kidding, folks. OK, 
Okay, so now you're gonna carry the board over to the pot, and then you're just gonna put one cube at a time. So one, two, three, four. We wanna boil these till they rise to the top of the water, and then we're ready. They're not on top yet, but they're getting there. They're coming to the top now. Now you dip them out with this spoon into the bowl. And you can take three or four at a time. Looking good, baby. Now we're gonna bring the bowl over here. Wham! Now we're gonna put some good stuff on this. We're gonna put some butter in here. And then we're gonna put some of this Parmesan on top. And now we gently stir with this spoon. Boy, this is looking good. Oh, yum, yum. My, my, my apology, folks. Let's see how this tastes. Yum, yum. My family's gonna love this. Hallelujah. Well, thanks, folks. That's it for today. See you next time. Remember, a clean kitchen is a happy kitchen. I just love doing this. Bye-bye and yum-yum.